Good morning, ladies. This is Carla, and today we're going to do another craft, craft fair project. Uh, I've done these before, and before I've uh, used a different sanitizer and a little bit different uh, way to package. This is kind of made the same, but uh, a little bit different way. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing is making little hand sanitizers little packages of hand sanitizers and this is what they're going to look like and I got my little sanitizers at Bath and Body Works and they're all just a little bit different and I didn't go with just seasonal because I thought you know after the season's over you want to be able to keep using it so I just got some kind of um, fun scents and I went through and and smelled all of them and thought they all smelled pretty good so this is what I'm going to be showing you and on the back of it I just took some Ghirardelli squares I had the dark chocolate mint and I think it was a sea salt caramel and just added one of those to the back just for a little extra goodie on there so I'm going to show you how I make those okay to begin you're going to need let me see if I've got everything I need out here first. Okay. So I've got cardstock. I've got these little ornaments I got in the mini ornament section at Hobby Lobby. This is a little bit of trim I got from the Dollar Tree. And the paper I'm using is mostly from uh, Doodle Bugs. And I think it's the, uh, let me see if I've got the name of it here night before Christmas selection and I just used a six by six paper pad and I used quite a bit of it actually so that's a good thing and you need some glue uh, I've got the little um, little name tag type thing that came with the paper set I've got a little bit of an embellishment I got these at Hobby Lobby I've got a little bag. These are the holographic bags. I got these from clearbags.com, pretty sure. And you'll need some ribbon to tie around the top to put your little ornaments on with. So let's get started with this. First, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures four and a half across and five and a half down. And you want to turn it, I'm going to have this side on top, so I'm going to turn it face down because I'll be folding on this side. So the first thing I want to do with my four and a half by five and a half piece of paper is scored at one and one quarter on this side. Just going to flip it around and score it at one and one quarter on this side. And I'm going to... Uh, turn it this way and I realize when you fold this up these are going to be upside down but I put uh, quite a bit of things on the front so that's really not going to matter that much I'd rather have that upside down than the whole package upside down so when we turn it on the five and a half inch side we're going to score at one inch and at two and a quarter Okay, that's all we're going to need our school board for. And the first thing we want to do is just take this and we're going to fold these score lines. I'm going to go down the sides first. And we're going to take it from the bottom and score the inch one. Then score the two and a quarter inch. And then we're going to take our scissors. And where you can see this uh, score line right there that first score line we're going to cut into this score line right here so I'm going to take this my scissors and just cut right up to that score line and we're going to come down here do the same thing on the next score line go right up flip it around let's go up this way and then this way and now what you're going to do since this is two and a quarter and this is an inch, we don't want these sticking out. So we're going to come here and cut about a quarter of an inch off. These uh, bottles are a little bit 
wider than the hand sanitizers that I've used in the past. I've usually used either Germex or Purell. So that's why we want to trim this off so it doesn't stick up. Now you're going to need your glue. I'm going to use glue on this. I'm going to fold in these little tabs right here and put some glue on here. Right here. And I see where I may have cut this just a little. And so I'm going to trim this little piece off so that will fold better. I got off my score line a little bit, but I don't think that's going to hurt. We'll just come in here and snip that out. And then we're going to just turn this bottom one up and fold the sides like this. So you're making your little box corner. Fold the sides in. Come over here. Do the same. Fold those in. It comes out pretty even there. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. Simply put glue here. little glue over here. Now we're going to flip this up where we had folded it, like this. You've got it down here. You've got your glue on the side. Simply flip this up, and you're just going to fold these in to form that side. Remember, we snip just a little off, so that will be down here to make your corner. Push that in, get it nice and even. Do the same thing over here. Just push that in. You know, I need to trim that one off a little bit too, looks like. Just makes it fit together just a little bit better. If it doesn't bother you, you wouldn't have to do that. And then I'm gonna push that in. Hold that just for a sec, give that time to dry. And then you've got your little container, just like that. Now for the sides, we don't wanna leave those square because that covers up too much of your content. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to come right down here on this corner and I'm going to cut up right up here to this corner up here. You could start here and go down, but I find for me it's easier to start down here and just aim for the corner at the top and I've got an angled side now. And do the same thing over here. So this one I am going to have to start at the top because I can't turn it that way. And just go down. And there you've got your other angled side. You don't need these. And then what I do, I'm going to take this little piece that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's a two inch piece, or the front is two inches. And I'm going to stick that across the bottom just for a little decoration. So let's get the backing off of that. I love this paper, it's so cute. I've used it for several different things. I think I had actually two of the 12 by 12 packs and then this little six by six paper pad. Okay, that fits across there pretty well, except I don't have it real straight. There we go, come down just a tad. There we go. So now we've got that. Now next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this. It's just, uh, you know, the polyfill. Because I thought of different things. I, I have shred, but it just, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I liked the way it fit in here better. And this helps kind of hold this uh, body wash up a little bit. So you can still see the title on it to know what fragrance you're getting. So I liked doing it that way. And then I'm going to take this little... Bath and Body Works, warm vanilla sugar, and oh, that smells really good. I'm going to take some double-sided tape. I'm going to put this on the back because I want this to stay in there. I don't want it to fall out and move around. 
So I'm going to take that and remove the backing. And just simply kind of push that in. I don't want to get that polyfill up there, really. And put it down enough where it's in there, but up enough so you can read the, the title. And you can always fluff a little bit of this. It kind of looks like snow, I think. And then on the back, as I said, I got some of these Ghirardelli chocolates. This one is a dark, dark chocolate mint. The other one is milk chocolate sea salt caramel. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit of my double-sided tape. <clears throat> put that on the back and take that off and let's remove the backing um, let's see right here that off. these make great little stocking stuffers little secret Santa gifts or you know, little favors for luncheons, just good little gifts like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little snowflake that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I forgot to turn my glue gun on, so I'm going to proceed <laughs> while my glue gun's heating up. Let's go ahead and get our ribbon. At least we'll get our ornaments kind of strung on here. I'm using pink and blue. got this at Hobby Lobby. It is an eighth of an inch. And let's see, because my paper has pink and blue in it, so I thought this would be cute. And since my tag's going to have uh, pink on it, wow, I'm kind of tangled up here in my scissors. There we go. Cut that at an angle because it makes it a lot easier to go through those little ornaments. Before I put on the ornaments, I'm going to take the little tag. Like I said, this comes with the um, paper pad. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so cute. And we're going to poke this right through there. And I'm going to come down about in the center, as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little tie so that won't be moving all around. Just going to tie it once. And then for either end, I think I'll take, let's take this green and the bright pink. I'm going to thread those on. Uh, usually I can get both of those in at a time. So I've got something stuck on this one. There we go. Now, last Thursday, I had the most fun time. Two of my friends from high school we decided to all meet in a neighboring town that would be convenient for us. And we we stayed in a hotel, and gosh, this little town is one we used to all frequent when we were in high school. And it has changed so much. There's so many cute little boutiques we had fun going to. Got some Amish apple butter. I had that yesterday morning. It is so good. Get that through there. Once you get it started, you kind of have to go in and pinch it up with your nails. <laughs> Pull that through. But anyway, we got to visit and drive around and see all the changes that have been made. And uh, one of my friends, she is from the town that we went to. And so, you know, she had kept up with every thing that had really been going on for the last few years. And so we got to catch up on, you know, what our friends were doing and what their families had done. Okay, so I'm tying a little knot there. And that's just simply to keep this ornament from falling off. And I'm going to trim that off just a little bit too. Let's come over here. I'm going to come in here and in here and anyway her husband has a barber shop he's had it for years in this town and apparently uh, oops you know what I forgot to do I'm talking here apparently some of the 
guys that we went to high school with. It was a very small high school. You know, you, you start grade school and you go through the whole 12 years with practically the same 25 people. It's more like family. But anyway, her husband's a couple years older than one of my brothers. And so I knew these guys pretty well because, you know, they would hang out with my brother. And my brother passed away about three years ago. He had Barrett's syndrome, which developed into esophageal cancer. So anyway, I hadn't seen some of his friends in a long time. Okay, I'm trying to get this knot out of there. Here we go. I've got to get my ornament on there before I tie that knot. We can do that. I'll take a pause here from talking. <laughs> All right, let's get that little ornament and try to slide it through there. But anyway, so we went in to see her husband. And so we learned then that some of these guys were going to be in there the next morning for coffee. They come in and drink coffee. So uh, my other friend came down from Kansas City. And she and I were talking, this one guy that was going to be there, he was my brother's age, and they played basketball together, and, you know, he was at the house a lot, and everybody had a crush on him. He was just so cute, had the deepest dark blue eyes and dark lashes to go with it. Well, I'm having trouble. Quit talking. So anyway, my friend and I, we both had crushes on him when we were in high school and it was a thing back then when you got your senior picture you know you you shared it with others of course and and you usually wrote something on the back of it well we started talking about what this particular guy had written what is wrong with me okay i'm not gonna talk anymore until i get this on here <laughs> let's see if i can do it quit talking that is <laughs> come on slide in there go 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 there hold it hold it I'm pulling it backwards is what I'm doing uh, okay all right I'm gonna concentrate I get both almost. Ah, come on, penguin. Well, you know what I'm gonna have to do just snip that off again and go at it again. I got sidetracked and I just can't get these to work. All right, come on now. Let's come back over here and try this again. I have to finish my story, but I won't do it till I get this beaded because it was kind of funny. Kind of. <laughs> All right, try this again. All right, there we go. Okay, now we'll tie the knot on the end so that can't go anywhere. So anyway, to continue and finish this story, we started talking about what he had written on the back of our senior pictures. And so I shared what he wrote on mine. He wrote something like, oh, you're so sweet and cute, even if you do have little birdie legs. Birdie legs? Oh my gosh, that was the last thing I wanted to hear from somebody I had a crush on, right? Birdie legs. And he could tell that I just wilted, I guess, when I read it. And he goes, oh, I'll write something else. You want another one? I can write something different. I said, oh, no, no, that's okay. And it was, you know. And then I talked to my friend. I said, so what do you write on yours? And she says, he wrote, um... Something like, I hope you find someone in life who will really make you happy, and I hope you have a good life, or something like that. And I went, what? 
He wrote that on yours, and he wrote birdie legs on mine. Okay, we're going down in the morning, and if he's there, I've got a bone to pick with him. So, <laughs> anyway, long story short, the next morning we got up, and we were... We had breakfast, and we were going to go over there, and he was there, and we told him we were coming, but we got delayed a little bit, so by the time we got there, he had an appointment, so he says, and uh, so we really didn't get to see him, but anyway, that was a funny story. Birdie legs. Oh, I never got over that. How would I remember it, right? Okay, we're going to put a little hot glue on there, stick our little snowflake on here, but he was still cute, even if he did say I had birdie legs. All right, we got our snowflakes. Now we're going to take a little cellophane holographic package here. And I'm going to slide this in. Just slide it right in. Get all that in there. This makes such a nice little package. Open up. Well, it wants to go shut on me. Let's try it like this. Okay. Oh, I'm having so much trouble. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, there we go. Go down in there. Slide in there. There we go. Okay, when you get it down in like this, then I am going to hold it to the bottom. And on the bottom, these kind of stick out. So the way I worked with that, I took a little bit of washi tape. This was from Simple Stories Collection, left over from last year. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that washi tape. I'm going to hold this down and see on the bottom that's nice and flat. I'm just going to fold these in. Put this one on that end. Let me get it on there a little more. Fold this one in. And we're just going to connect those on the bottom with a little bit of Christmas washi tape. Give that a good little press. Then you've got your little bag like this. Then all we're going to do is take our little tag that we made with the ornaments. I'm gonna snip off some of that ribbon. I think that's just a little bit too long. And over here, we're gonna snip just a little bit of that off. And take this, stand it up. I'm gonna put my tag so it kinda is at the front. So when I swing these around, oh, before I do that, I knew I had a better way to close that. I just love these little clear little rubber bands. I think I got these probably at Dollar Tree or Walmart. I usually get them at Dollar Tree. And there's a whole bunch in there. But you just take one of these little plastic bands if you're wanting to close something on the top. And sometimes they break and you have to use another one because they get kind of thin when you uh, pull them over that. So I'm just going to twist it once. Come back over there. And that makes it much easier to get this on. So now we're going to take this, swing it around that. And I'm going to take this long side, poke it up through there like so. One more time just to make it secure. This ribbon is so pretty and satiny. It's slippery, so we want to give that a good knot. And there you've got your cute little Bath and Body hand sanitizer. Like I said, I just love the way these turned out. I think I've made like 15 of them. And I think I'm going to sell these. They all pretty much look the same as far as the decoration, but I did make it. This is a soft lavender. I don't know if you can see that the way that's shining on there. I did make them so you could see 
um, the fragrance you're getting through there. So, um, I think I'm going to price these at either $3 or $3.50. The hand sanitizers are $1.95, but I don't think I actually paid that much. I think they were, oh, maybe like 8 for $10 or something like that. So, uh, anyway, $3 or $3.50, and I did add the little treat on the back, the little chocolate. So, tell me what you think about that price. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, something that you might want to make for your craft fair. And you can use, like I said, the Germex or the um, Purell. And when I've done that, I made little tags for my Cricut that said sanitizer on those and I think these are great you know they can go for a lady or a man because you know a lot of times you have uh, custodial workers and like in schools or that kind of thing or in your office that you want to give just a little something to and anyone can always use a hand sanitizer so uh, that's a cute little tag to make if you're giving just the more uh, generic brands of, of your hand sanitizer. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I have reached 1,700 subscribers. I'm on my way to 2,000. And when I do, I'm going to have a giveaway. So if you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button, just touch that little button and I'll be happy. I do appreciate all of you. I appreciate your comments. You're so sweet. And I appreciate you saying that you're going to try some of these, either for little gifts or, you know, little favors or even your craft fair. So, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye-bye.